uh, we as a, as a group spoke about this a few weeks ago and said, look, what happened is in, in the past and um, it was very unfortunate. The fact that we, we got uh, stuck, some of our lads got stuck and a lot of us got COVID and the effect that that had on the group. Uh, but no, fresh start. Uh, everybody was in great spirit. We flew from um, Dublin to Paris after making the our way from Cork and, and Limerick. Uh, spent about five hours uh, at Charles de Gaulle. Um, and then flew uh, overnight to Johannesburg, got in the bus, uh, got into Pretoria at about lunchtime yesterday, um, and a bit of recovery, and then um, had dinner together last night, uh, just had a training session there, so great to be here, everybody in good spirits, uh, weather is fantastic, and um, you yeah, are looking forward to the week. Damien was part of training today, obviously fit to play we'll we'll decide later in the week how we're going to use him whether it's this weekend or next weekend and like everybody we'll, we'll make our calls later in, in the week in in terms of the bulls um not a lot have changed a team that uh, we as a group respect obviously the curry cup champions the best team in south africa team that have played and, and won a lot of competitions over the last few years um excellent coaching staff and then some very good players, uh, and um, you know they they've played some pretty good rugby, uh, and uh, some world class players. And then you add on top of it a fantastic stadium, altitude, and the heat. Uh, that will all tell you it's a massive challenge for us on on Saturday afternoon. And I think uh, if you look at the URC, I think it's brilliant for the competition. Uh, it's certainly a game that we are looking forward to. It's a, a team, a franchise, a province that that um, I personally respect a lot, and um, it will certainly be a, a fierce battle between two very good teams, I believe. Yeah, it's uh, uh, great, great for him to be called up to the national team. Uh, if you think back to 2017, when I joined Munster, he was the first player that I signed. Uh, we had an injury crisis the week that I arrived, and um, we we brought him from Dublin. So he's, he's the first new new guy that came to Munster whilst I was there. Incredible journey that he's been on, coming from clubland, making his way uh, through the, the Pro 14 at that stage. Uh, I remember that European game against the Ospreys. Uh, we threw that ridiculous pass from left to right for Andrew Conway's try when he was man of the match. And, uh, you know, he's just become one of those guys that week in and, and week out is, is available. His scrummaging has come on a lot and uh, look for him just to be at the national team. Brilliant and uh, couldn't happen to a nicer bloke who's, who's worked really hard. And um, like we said, the more guys we can have with the national team, the better. So very, very glad for him. Yeah, Tom, um, it's uh, if you remember, you've, you've been on this journey now for a long time. Uh, when when I came to Munster, I said that, that we're going to build a squad, uh, guys that, that can play, guys that deserve their spots and, and guys that are comfortable in the team. Uh, the amount of guys that have come through in the last two years, specifically from the academy, from Clubland, has, has been phenomenal. Um, in, in terms of the team itself, uh, everybody is very happy for, for Jeremy and the next guy just slots in. So Josh Witchley again played very well on, on Saturday evening against the, the Dragons and um, as a as a joke, we uh, we said to Mark Donnelly, he only plays in the big games. Um, he played the Wasps game when uh, you know he made his debut for Munster in in Europe, and um, you know he's most likely to be in the 23 this weekend. So it's literally the next man up. Uh, we trust our squad, and uh, in terms of team spirit, in terms of togetherness, of unity, it's uh, it's it's all in. Uh, and you know, I don't think a lot of people know this, but since the 2019 World Cup. Uh, our academy and our senior team have trained together the whole time. <clears throat> so it's all academy coaches, senior coaches, academy players uh, aligned. And then, you know, um, this season specifically, we, we've added more club players. And then the unfortunate events of uh, a lot of 34 players not being available for Europe, one against the Wasps, gave a lot of players the, the opportunity to train with the team and make their debuts. And I mean, what a phenomenal story for someone like Patrick Campbell that made his debut against Wasps. I picked him the next weekend against Gust again, and he's in phenomenal form for the 20s currently in the Six Nations. So, uh, you know, Mark and Josh specifically, really looking forward for them for the opportunities against a uh, quality and a powerful Bulls team. Uh, yeah, it was good. Look, hopefully this time we actually get to the game. You know? <laughs> so, um, I think, yeah, I think we're all happy to be back. You know, it's a, I mean, I, I grew up here, so it's, I know myself. It's a lovely country, and it's a lovely country to visit. So all the boys are excited, and you know they're excited about the game and excited about the food, of course, as all, as everyone always is. 
Um, but yeah, no, I think I don't think there was too much apprehension. You know, we were given, you know, full, um, you know, full clarity from the URC and from the RFU um, and from SARU as to you know what the protocol surrounding this trip would be um, and you know what would happen if anything were to go wrong. So you know we were given a lot of confidence um, from that standpoint. So yeah, you know for for us it's just another another day at work I'd say. I you know I I I'd like to think my game's in a fairly good place at the moment. Um, yeah, I I think it's basically down to I think there's a big emphasis from our you know from our coaching staff and stuff to keep you know improving yourself and improving your game. Um, and it's not just your game in general, but like small parts of it. Um, you know, doing work with you know, guys like Steve Larkham on your on your ball handling skills and your passing skills and that kind of stuff. And you know, guys like Graham Roundtree, you know, when it comes to like your breakdown and your carry and that kind of stuff. Um, it's just individual extras, and I think there's been a big focus this year placed placed on you know improving as a player so you can improve the team. So yeah, I've just been sort of cra- cracking on and just trying to enjoy it as much as possible. I'd say I think enjoyment is a big factor for me at the moment. Um, just really trying to enjoy my rugby, and I think enjoyment brings out the best in, in in any person. Like if you're enjoying what you're doing, then you know you 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 tend to try some some things that you might not normally have the confidence to do. I'd say the big thing is, you know, just just don't let the altitude get into your head. I think it's a it's a big thing, and I know the Bulls play on it. They have it, you know, written all over the stadium that altitude matters and you know all that all that kind of stuff. But it's just in your head, like you you feel it in the lungs, and then you might convince yourself that you're getting more tired. But the reality of the fact is, our boys are fit, so all they need to do is just keep their head down and keep working because. It's, end of the day it's only 80 minutes so um yeah no look the bulls are phenomenally tough team to play um and they're a phenomenally tough team to play at home especially so yeah we have a big challenge ahead of us but i think we're well prepped and from a coaching standpoint i think johan uh jp steve graham i think they've done a fantastic job in prepping us and getting us ready so hopefully by the end of the week we'll um be firing on all cylinders and we'll crack into them